Hi guys, this is Daryl and welcome back to Sci-Fi Odyssey. Today we're deep diving into the rich and diverse world of science fiction cinema to bring you a list of 10 underappreciated gems that you absolutely must check out. Sci-fi often wanders into the deepest corners of human imagination, and it's because of this that it sometimes finds itself traversing paths that are a tad too offbeat or a tad too complex, or perhaps overshadowed by blockbuster giants of the time. It's not uncommon to see brilliant films falling through the cracks, missing the spotlight they truly deserve. Maybe they were ahead of their time, too enigmatic, or simply lacked the promotional blitzkrieg that usually accompanies mainstream movies. In today's video, we're taking a moment to appreciate underappreciated. So grab your popcorn, settle in, and let's venture into the world of sci-fi wonders that might have escaped your radar. Let's kick off our list with Moon, a 2009 psychological thriller that takes us on a solitary journey to a lunar base. In the isolating backdrop of a lunar base, this movie unravels the solitary life of Sam Bell, a man nearing the end of his three-year work contract with Lunar Industries, where he has been working alone mining Helium-3, the Earth's new energy source. But as his time comes to a close, strange occurrences start to cloud his reality, giving rise to an unsettling and profound journey of self-discovery. In the future setting of Moon, viewers are ushered into a world of speculative technological advancements where lunar mining is an everyday reality, managed with the assistance of a sophisticated AI, Gertie. The narrative takes us on a deep, reflective journey into the realms of cloning and identity crisis, tackling poignant questions about individuality and humanity in the face of scientific progression. Sam Rockwell gives an outstanding performance, embodying the physical and emotional turmoil of a man grappling with an evolving sense of reality. Yet despite its nuanced storytelling and Rockwell's compelling performance, Moon remained largely underappreciated upon its release, perhaps overshadowed by flashier, big-budget sci-fi releases. Its understated and slow-burn narrative, which forsakes explosive action sequences for a more intimate and cerebral experience, might have been too subtle to catch the massive wave of mainstream success. But that's precisely what makes Moon a must-watch. It's a fresh, thought-provoking take on lunar exploration, offering an intense, gripping portrayal of isolation and identity that promises to keep you on the edge of your seat. At number two, we have Equilibrium, a film that marries stylish action with deep philosophical nuances. Perhaps one of the most underrated masterpieces of the early 2000s, this film transports us to a dystopian future where society has eradicated war and conflict by suppressing the very essence of human nature, emotions. Christian Bale delivers a powerhouse performance as John Preston, a high-ranking enforcement officer who suddenly finds himself experiencing forbidden emotions in a world void of love, joy and artistic expression. Director Kurt Wimmer crafts a chilling portrayal of a totalitarian regime that maintains its iron grip through strict surveillance and control, where even the slightest hint of feeling is punishable by death. Yet amidst this bleak setting, the human spirit refuses to be stifled, giving rise to pockets of rebellion that dare to feel, to love, and to dream. Equilibrium strikes a fine balance between kinetic action, characterised by its iconic gun kata martial arts, and deep, reflective moments that probe into the very essence of humanity. Its complex narrative structure intricately explores the dichotomy between control and chaos, freedom and suppression, urging viewers to ponder the costs of a peace bought with the loss of the very qualities that makes us human. Despite its compelling narrative and high-stake action scenes, Equilibrium has often been overshadowed by more commercial releases of its time, making it a bit of a hidden gem. Its understated release, coupled with a narrative that challenges viewers to question societal norms, may be the very reasons it didn't catch on with a wider audience initially. Next, let's step into the enigmatic world of Dark City, where memory manipulation and identity crisis are just another Tuesday. Released in 1998, this visual marvel combines neo-noir aesthetics with mind-bending science fiction, creating an unforgettable meld of darkness, mystery, and human existentialism. 
In this enigmatic world where night never gives way to day, we find ourselves confronting unsettling themes of memory manipulation and identity crisis. The city's inhabitants find themselves trapped in an ever-changing maze, where reality is as fluid as the whims of the shadowy figures pulling the strings from behind the curtain. The film creates a world where grim urban landscapes merge with surreal dreamscapes, offering a visual feast that mirrors the complex, labyrinthine narrative unfolding on screen. The central character, John Murdoch, finds himself caught in a web of deceit and manipulation as he struggles to reclaim his lost memories and unveil the hidden truth in the city's dark corners. As you immerse yourself in this dark and compelling universe, prepare to be captivated by the film's groundbreaking special effects and production design, which managed to create a timeless setting that defies easy categorization. Yet, despite its artistic ingenuity and narrative depth, Dark City initially struggled to find its audience. But the film stands as a testament to the fact that true artistry can never be subdued. Over the years it has garnered a dedicated cult following, with many praising its intellectual depth, thematic richness and impressive visuals. It invites viewers to not just watch, but to question and to lose themselves in its intricate web of philosophical dilemmas about human consciousness and reality. Starship Troopers storms in at number four, offering a satirical glance at military science fiction. One of my personal favorites, Starship Troopers is a cinematic voyage that manages to juxtapose jaw-dropping, adrenaline-fueled battle scenes with a razor-sharp dissection of militarism and propaganda. This 1997 cult classic isn't your typical sci-fi blockbuster. It's a masterful satire disguised as a space opera, offering viewers layers of subtext to unpack and ponder. Set in a futuristic society where citizenship is earned through military service, we are faced with a world embroiled in an intergalactic war against a race of insectoid aliens. The narrative follows the journey of John Rico and his friends as they navigate the brutalities of war, armed with high-tech weaponry and propelled by an unwavering sense of duty. Yet, beneath the glossy veneer of heroic bravado and spectacular battle sequences, Starship Troopers harbours a dark and biting commentary on the seductive allure of propaganda, the glorification of warfare and the perils that come with them. Critics and audiences alike may have misinterpreted its deep satire as mere campy sci-fi action at the time of its release, which perhaps contributed to its underappreciation. However, as time progressed, the film's keen observation of socio-political machinations has gained recognition, solidifying its position as a sophisticated satire that resonates profoundly in contemporary times. Another reason for its underappreciatedness, is that even a word, might be due to the fact that it deviated too far from the source material, Robert Heinle's novel Starship Troopers, in its tone and seriousness. Fans of the book might have been expecting a faithful, in-depth exploration of the novel's themes and were perhaps disappointed or even shocked by the movie's satirical, hyperbolic approach. The film's layered satire and social commentary might have been too ahead of its time, with audiences not fully appreciating its depth and nuance until years later, as they viewed it with fresh eyes and a greater understanding of its context and intentions. Next up is A Scanner Darkly, a brilliant adaptation of Philip K. Dick's novel that dives deep into a dystopian world. The film takes us on a surreal journey through a dystopian society, a world where the lines between the government's surveillance and the pervasive influence of substance abuse blur ominously. The movie employs a unique and captivating animation technique known as rotoscoping, where live action footage is traced over to create an animated visual spectacle. This innovative approach not only enhances the dreamlike, often nightmarish quality to the narrative, but also allows for nuanced exploration of the character's rapidly fragmenting sense of self and reality. Set in the not-so-distant future, we follow the experiences of Bob Arctor, portrayed by Keanu Reeves, an undercover agent assigned to infiltrate the murky depths of the drug underworld. As he descends further into this shadowy realm, he finds himself ensnared in a complex web of intrigue, betrayal and identity crisis. The film grapples with themes of surveillance, paranoia and the disintegration of identity. 
offering a bleak yet mesmerizing reflection on the potential consequences of a society in the throes of mass addiction and authoritarian oversight. Its underappreciated status might stem from its complex narrative structure and heavy themes, which may not cater to mainstream tastes. However, for those willing to immerse themselves in its richly layered story and distinctive visual style, it promises a cinematic journey that is unsettling as it is unforgettable. A Scanner Darkly invites viewers to look beyond the surface, to peer into the depths of human vulnerability and the dark corners of society, providing a mirror to our own realities wrapped in a psychedelic yet eerily familiar narrative tapestry. At number six, we have The Machine, a lesser known sci-fi gen that explores the potential and perils of artificial intelligence. In The Machine, viewers are escorted into a near future where the line between man and machine is not just blurred, but virtually non-existent. We witness a breathtaking venture into the frontiers of artificial intelligence, a journey fraught with both wonder and danger. It's a narrative that compels us to question the very essence of consciousness and humanity. As scientists inch closer to creating sentient beings, a marvel of artificial intelligence emerges, encapsulating both the pinnacle of human achievement and a potential harbinger of doom. The story unfolds in a high-tech facility where Vincent, a brilliant but morally conflicted scientist, becomes a key player in a dangerous game of power and ethics. As he collaborates in creating The Machine, a highly advanced AI with the appearance of a beautiful woman, he finds himself torn between his role as a creator and the burgeoning realisation of the implications of his creation. This sentient being, portrayed with a mesmerising blend of vulnerability and strength, forces us to confront both the awe-inspiring and terrifying potentials of artificial intelligence. Yet despite its depth, the machine remains somewhat under the radar, possibly owing to its indie status and limited budget and promotion. But make no mistake, it is a film that deserves a place in the spotlight. To the curious minds and the seekers of profound narratives, The Machine stands as a testament to the limitless bounds of human creativity and a cautionary tale of technology's potential to redefine our world. Up next is Sunshine, a 2007 cinematic gem that has perhaps not basked in the limelight that it much deserves. This is a film that brilliantly marries visual splendor with an intellectual and emotional voyage, taking us on a breathtaking journey that goes far beyond our galaxy, reaching deep into the recesses of the human psyche. In Sunshine, we find ourselves aboard the Icarus II, a spacecraft tasked with an almost mythic mission to reignite the dying sun and save Earth from an impending ice age. Under the masterful direction of Danny Boyle, we are treated to a narrative that pulsates with the sense of urgency and grandeur, a race against time set against the stunning backdrop of outer space. The film shines with not only the literal brightness of the sun, but also with the luminous performances of its cast, including Killian Murphy, Chris Evans and Rose Byrne. Okay, no more light synonyms. As we traverse the cosmos alongside a team of astronauts and scientists, Sunshine unveils itself as more than just a space thriller. It transforms into a philosophical odyssey, probing deep into themes of hope, sacrifice, and the overwhelming responsibility that comes with holding the fate of humanity in one's hands. Unfortunately, despite its brilliance, Sunshine remains somewhat overshadowed in the world of sci-fi cinema, perhaps due to its intense and occasionally abstract narrative that explores the complexities of human nature in a setting that is as unforgiving as it is magnificent. It dares to delve into the darker corners of the human soul while also celebrating the potential for heroism and transcendence. Sunshine stands as a testament to the power of sci-fi cinema to illuminate. Okay, one more. The deepest questions of existence, offering viewers a journey that is visually spectacular as well as intellectually enlightening. Okay, I'm done. Gattaca takes the eighth spot, offering a sober glimpse into a future dominated by genetic discrimination. Set in a not so distant future, Gattaca portrays a society where your DNA dictates your destiny. The film unravels the journey of Vincent Freeman, played by Ethan Hawke, a man conceived naturally, thereby finding himself categorised as invalid, a second-class citizen in a world obsessed with genetic perfection. This hierarchical society thrives on genetic engineering, a world where success, 
job positions and even romantic relationships are determined by one's genetic code. But Vincent is not one to succumb to societal impositions. He dreams big, aiming to break free from the chains of genetic determinism that bind him. Gattaca is a thoughtful exploration of the human spirit's unyielding perseverance. Vincent's journey is a testament to the power of human will, resilience and the refusal to be confined by biological determinism. His fight is against a system that has forsaken the unpredictability, the spontaneity and the beautiful imperfections that make us human. His is a fight to prove that the human spirit cannot be quantified by genetic codes, that ambition and determination can defy the stringent barriers put up by society. Despite its brilliance, Gattaca remains somewhat underappreciated, yet it's a film that has aged like fine wine, growing more relevant and poignant as genetic engineering edges closer to mainstream life. At number 9 we have the surreal dystopian satire Brazil, a film that presents a quirky, darkly comedic look at bureaucratic totalitarian society, blending fantastic elements with stark social commentary. Crafted by the visionary director Terry Gilliam, a member of the Monty Python troupe, Brazil remains a standout piece in the sci-fi genre, blending the bleakness of a dystopian future with a peculiar brand of humour that is both dark and farcically brilliant. In Brazil we are catapulted into a grotesquely bureaucratic and totalitarian society where even the simplest of tasks are ensnared in an endless web of red tape. This is a world burdened by the crushing weight of conformity, where the lines between government and corporation blur, sketching a picture of a civilization that has lost its soul to the machinery of control and surveillance. Our protagonist, Sam Lowry, is a low-level government employee who dreams of escaping the monotonous and dehumanizing grip of society, harboring fantasies that are both vibrant and surreal. It's a scathing critique that manages to intertwine the ludicrous with the tragic, bringing to life a nightmarish landscape that mirrors the fears of a society caught in the clutches of an ever-expanding government reach. But what really sets Brazil apart is its impeccable craft of blending the futuristic with the absurd, a haunting reflection of George Orwell's 1984 meets a Monty Python sketch. Its darkly comedic lens serves not only to lighten the tragedy, but to underscore the profound absurdity of its dystopian world, offering a critique that is as biting as it is bizarre. Yet despite its visionary approach and rich multi-layered narrative, Brazil remains somewhat under the radar, overshadowed perhaps by its more mainstream contemporaries. It could be said that its very absurdity, the quality that makes it so unique and fascinating, might also have been a barrier to broader appreciation. For those brave enough to delve into its chaos, Brazil promises an experience that is as intellectually stimulating as it is visually arresting. Rounding up our list is the ambitious Cloud Atlas, a film that weaves multiple narratives across time and space. Based on the brilliant book by David Mitchell, Cloud Atlas is a tour de force of narrative complexity and cinematic craftsmanship. Its ambitious venture is not just a film, but an experience, an intricate tapestry that weaves together multiple storylines spanning different eras and locations, forging connections that transcend time and space. The brilliance of Cloud Atlas lies in its bold endeavour to encapsulate the entirety of the human experience within its sprawling runtime. It is an exploration of the cycles of birth, death and rebirth, sketching a profound portrait of the interconnectedness of all life. Each narrative thread is a piece of a larger puzzle, a testament to the age-old adage that everything is connected. The film breathes to life a complex narrative structure that oscillates seamlessly between different time periods, ranging from the 19th century to a post-apocalyptic future. This unique approach to the storytelling crafts a symphonic narrative where the individual stories resonate harmoniously, echoing the central theme of unity and recurrence. Cloud Atlas encourages viewers to delve deep, to seek out the underlying threads that link each tale, to ponder the cyclical nature of existence and the ripple effect of actions across time. It is a film that demands patience and keen attention, rewarding those who are willing to immerse themselves fully into its complex but ultimately enriching narrative landscape. Despite its grandeur and narrative innovation, Cloud Atlas may have missed widespread acclaim due to its complexity and the demands it places on its audience. 
It's a film that doesn't hold hands, inviting viewers to unravel its mysteries through repeated viewings, each offering a new layer of understanding and appreciation. However, for those willing to undertake this cinematic journey, Cloud Atlas offers a rewarding and profoundly moving experience, a testament to the boundless potentials of filmmaking and storytelling. There you have it folks, 10 underappreciated sci-fi gems that deserve a spot on your movie bucket list. Each of these films brings something unique to the table, offering rich narratives that push the boundaries of storytelling. Which of these have you seen and why are they underappreciated? Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more exciting content from me. Until next time. Thanks so much for watching. If you're craving an extraordinary journey through realms unexplored, consider delving into universes directly out of my brain by checking out my sci-fi novels Black Milk and Delphine Descends. You can find more details in the description. Thanks for your support.